What's up guys? Welcome back to another Test Drive Thursday. I want to start today's video by saying thank you to each and every one of you for all the support I've been receiving. Thank you to, to everyone for all the questions, for all the feedback, all of that. I appreciate it a lot. And yeah, I just want to say this channel has grown quite immensely within the past few few weeks that it's been active. And yeah, I just want to say thank you to all of you. Now in today's video, I have another BMW for you guys. And yes, this is actually a quite unique BMW as it's the first of its generation. And I'm pretty sure the title would have once of uh, give it away again. And I showed it right there now. But yeah guys, I welcome you to the BMW 435i Grand Coupe. Okay guys, yeah, so we have the 435i Grand Coupe and I must admit there's a lot of things to say about this vehicle. It's a chassis code known as BMW F36 and it's the first ever Grand Coupe of its generation. Like the 6 series Grand Coupe that we got, the 4 series Grand Coupe also has the slanted or what they call a fastback roof. Now this is based on a coupe style and the 4 Series was always destined to be a coupe car and BMW thought well let's think out of outside of the box and let's design something else and out they came with the Grand Coupe yeah I'm gonna show you guys here you can see Grand Coupe now guys I have to be honest this is a beautiful car I really really love the Grand Coupes I think it's a pretty unique design and I'm going to show you guys what my favorite feature of this car is. There's a single feature that I absolutely adore. And yeah, let me show you guys what that feature is. I'm just going to open the door here. And there it is, guys. Frameless doors. Damn. I so wish the TI came out with these the frameless doors. I think it's... Yeah, I'm going to try and get an angle from here. It's freaking beautiful, the frameless doors. Yeah, guys, so I'm going to take you around the exterior features of this car. I'm going to take you around basically what the Grand Coupe is made of. And I'm going to explain why this car was actually developed and what the sole purpose of this car was. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's get to it. So we have the 435i Grand Coupe. And yes, this is a 435i as mentioned a few times now. And it's an Alpine white. It is an in-sport package as well. And I absolutely love the white on a BMW. Alpine white just has this mirror-like finish to it. And I think it's astonishingly beautiful. Now this car, as mentioned, has the in-sport package. So it got the M Sport rims and you guys can see the M designation badging right here and this slat here so it's like the shadow line trim as well. Yeah you can determine that by seeing it's, it's black. You've got the dual beam projectors, one for the normal beam and one for your brights. But you guys can see this is the M Sport bumper. Looking at the car from the front, you can't help but to fall in love with how beautiful it is. There's not much else to mention about this car. Uh, one thing I did notice was, you guys can see the brakes right there, it's actually a four piston caliper, which is pretty cool. I didn't expect it to have that bigger brakes, but it does in fact have four piston calipers up front. You guys can see it has the uh, sunroof as well, but I'm not going to give too much away on the features in this car. I'll explain them a bit more once I am inside. So the 435R Grand Coupe, like I said, the fastback, you guys can see the way the roof slopes down here. It's just basically a coupe style, if I can put it that way. And you get the usual 435i features, which includes the dual tips at the back. You guys can see the dual exhaust tips. And then, yeah, these 
lights are actually very beautiful and you can see the BMW signature in the lights so I have to mention as well this is a pre facelift the pre LCI it's quite hard to distinguish an LCI to a pre facelift you know I've uh, I've tried to read up on on especially F30 3 series and uh, these 4 series how to distinguish the facelift and pre facelift and it's mostly to the bumper changes and the grills and the headlights but it's very difficult and very hard to do this distinguish so yeah guys that is the exterior of the 435i this car is stock standard guys stock standard no modifications at all low mileage and a stunner of a vehicle let's get to the inside guys and let me show you how beautiful this car is inside Welcome you guys to the beautiful interior of the 435i now guys if you look at the seats first off I'm, I'm gonna start with the seat you can see this car has the M Sport seats as well and another cool feature is it has electronic seats with memory so you've got your settings there seat position 1 and 2 and you can set them and yeah your adjustability uh, features here I think that is a very nice uh, feature to have however they do weigh quite a lot and I can show you guys the trim on this car is this blue line trim and the silver carbon fiber style here but I'll get to that a bit more once I am inside tell you once again Beamer style guys Beamer you can see it's mostly driver orientated the seating position the the whole center console here points towards the driver and here in the middle you can see the the whole cluster is right at the center point of your vision a very comfortable interior overall now this car like i said has the sunroof function as well or, or feature and there's a feature this car has an extra optional which is very nice guys they are super scarce it is the professional navigation this is not the the small screen but this is the professional one so yeah it's got an iDrive 6 system which is very functional you guys can see how good the actual graphics is on that screen it looks wonderful and it has the extended cluster as well guys which uh, for a daily driver you use those features a lot and it's a very nice to have you guys can see here in the center console you've got your traction control button right there you've got uh, your preset settings for sport eco and sport plus and then yeah PDC control here you've got the, the usual uh, automatic gear knob from BMW it's very easy to operate this this um, gear shifter guys it is uh, basically just press that for park and if you want to shift you can just hold the unlock button and basically change it to wherever you like you've got your iDrive control here uh, the 4 series didn't get the gesture control as yet it's only with uh, later uh, G20 models where they introduced that but yeah I can show you guys how functional this system actually is so yeah I'm gonna go fully back you've got your multimedia your radio you can control your cell phone you've got your navigation office connected drive options vehicle information and settings I usually like the vehicle information so you can uh, look at your sport displays your kilowatts your torque all of that it is very functional guys I, I think it's a very nice uh, overall system iDrive 6 was very well renowned for, for the way it was user friendly and functional I'll show you guys a bit later on about all of the features here in the extended cluster but you guys can see the M Sport steering wheel as well not as aggressive but very comfort oriented but still sporty at the same time 
can see the inserts here for my fingers and then the paddles behind here for the gearbox now this car doesn't have a dual clutch gearbox it has a ZF gearbox and yes if I remember correctly it is a seven speed or a six speed I stand corrected but yes I don't know what you guys think about the center console design of the beamers especially in in this generation but it was basically function over form not that I'm saying the form is bad I think it's absolutely beautiful but as we've all learned with example E90 generation these center consoles with the integration of all your buttons here and everything and it, uh, it does age not that well but we'll see how this this phase it's another thing I can mention is the fact that this car has the Harman Kardon option so it's got wonderful audio the Harman Kardon is extra optional overall this car is specced really well inside and I think if you have a daily driver like these you you prefer to have those specs you know so I'm gonna take you to the party piece there's something really nice inside yeah beamer latches later generations is once and then twice yeah guys so this car has something called an N55 motor that is basically the turbo motor from BMW the second generation one this engine replaced the BMW N54 and yeah there were a few improvements on these vehicles um, or on these engines rather and basically they came out with if I remember correctly it was 225 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque you can't complain about the power guys I mean they were insanely strong and a lot of potential especially in modifying them getting power out of them and yeah I can also say that this is an EWG car so that's the electronic wastegate and from what I've heard the electronic wastegate uh, models have a slightly bigger turbo housing as well I stand to be corrected but yeah from what I've heard I'm just basing this off of what other people's told me they have a lot more tuning potential especially for holding boost in the rev range and giving you that extra bit of power up top now guys the the N55 was actually renowned for for its reliability um, it, it was a lot more reliable than uh, than the N54 it replaced and it basically was a, a twin scroll turbocharger design so a single turbo with just a twin, twin scroll uh, housing and yeah this basically helped eliminate a lot of uh, uh, boost lag and yeah having the power up top as well guys I think it was a, a pretty good design I'm not gonna say anything about fuel consumption because we know the six cylinders are quite heavy but I think if you get this car on the open road it really really can't be that bad you know you actually can't see the engine that well uh, it's all under covers but yeah you've got your turbo right there on the right hand side here guys and a monster in disguise and especially if you consider this is a grand coupe guys this is a four-door coupe style and it makes all of the power you want you know actually I forgot something I want to show you guys let me get inside and show you how cool this is with the the professional system right there if you give the car a start whoa you can hear that six cylinder eh? and you put it in reverse you guys can see it actually has the rear camera and it has PDC as well just look at the quality of that camera guys for a 2015 model I'd say that is spectacularly good it actually looks pretty pretty impressively well so yeah guys um, I'm just gonna put it in park again yeah so that is the 435i Grand Coupe guys beautiful car excellent features creature comforts all of what you want in basically a daily driver guys and you get the sportiness of it as well let's get to that point of view interior drive and let me take you guys a bit more through about what this car is made of welcome guys to the drive of the 435i Grand Coupe and to start off this basic drive I'm gonna tell you guys that once again BMW very driver orientated I can tell you guys my seating position is excellent I'm sitting right like very low and 
steering wheels pointing at me all the clusters and the center consoles pointing to right to, towards me and that's the way I like my Beamer now I don't know if you guys can hear this uh, this six cylinder but I can already hear the deep rumble of that engine and I'm excited to, to get to to grips with it a bit and actually hear what it sounds like so at this moment in time I'm in normal eco uh, eco pro mode and I'm driving comfortably here yeah. once again I'm gonna start at a point guys and I'm gonna take you through the whole experience of this car and first off I'm gonna start again with the gearbox guys now if I were to compare this gearbox to the DSG from the GTI I did the other day this gearbox is much smoother especially in the mode I'm now it doesn't shift back it's it shifts at like a thousand five hundred two thousand rpm and the six cylinder has the grunt and the torque to to supply to this gearbox so yeah very very great gearbox I'm still gonna get to grips with it once I go into sport mode and so forth but yeah we'll get to that once I do a point of view secondly the suspension I just want to see uh, I'm used to I don't know why BMW moved the window buttons from the center console to to the door it used to be with the older beamers it used to be in the center but yeah I was looking for the, the window buttons there <laughs> now the way this car sits on the road I'm sitting a bit or currently I'm just driving through a bit of corners and so forth and the car feels very planted the suspension feels it feels on a bit firm but still very comfortable I can't I can't say that it's very bumpy and yeah this car is an M Sport model but guys I need to mention that I can't feel any lag there's literally no lag guys no lag at all so I'm just gonna move into sport mode immediately the, the, the gearbox shifts back which is very cool yo guys I can feel it I don't know if you guys can hear it I don't know if you guys can hear this engine but yeah definitely talk from a six cylinder the pedals are instant I can say that uh, and I'm just in sport mode now I'm not in sport plus or anything but yeah guys I need to admit you can you can say that the GTI is a bit more fun orientated but the way this car just delivers its power, the way that this car gets going, for the size it is, I need to commend the car on that, you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to move into to Sport Plus now. Definitely, it picks up and goes, guys. Let's see here. Yo, it's so efficient, guys. Like... You can feel it goes but it and there's a lot of power and if you look at the speedometer you can notice it really does pick up and go but it's so the way it goes about it is so much more comfort orientated yeah guys the gearbox is quick I can tell you the gearbox is quick and then yeah the brake pedal the brake pedal it's it's very firm um, let me quickly test the brakes here a bit yeah no guys it really does brake really well like I showed you in the, the exterior footage it has those four piston calipers at front and as Beamer likes it it's got uh, some bigger brakes at the rear as well yeah guys it's, uh, it's amazing how this car goes about putting the power down no it drives really well guys I need to admit it is very planted the chassis it doesn't feel as big as, as it is it feels a bit more it feels like a normal 3 series sedan if I can put it that way it doesn't feel that big and it, it surprises me you know because there's this four-seater car and you've got the comfort for your family 
but at the same time, it still feels sporty. <laughs> yo, guys, yo, the talk. I need to mention the talk. Six cylinder power for you, you know? Six cylinder power. But yeah, guys, that engine is silky smooth. The gearbox is silky smooth. I'm in manual now, so I can I can comment on that and I can switch back, go into comfort mode again. Quiet, comfortable drive. And yeah, that's what a beamer is about, guys. That uh, I get the hype, you know. Like the other day I wanted to say that after driving the GTI, I, I really do get the hype from, from that car. It is so much fun, that chassis is so quick and balanced and the way it goes about giving the power to the DSG gearbox and all of that, it really puts that excitement factor to 100%. Whereby this car is more orientated to still give you that fun, but still be a daily driver that's super comfortable. And it really does achieve that. Okay guys, so let's switch to that point of view drive and uh, yeah, let's see if you guys can actually enjoy the drive as much as I am. Alright guys, welcome to the point of view drive of the 435i Grand Coupe. Now once again, I'm not going to chat too much. I'm going to try and enjoy this as much as possible with you guys. You guys can see the first thing is how efficient how comfortable this car is now once again I do not want to to go on too much about um, I don't want to go on too much about fuel consumption and all that because I know for a fact it's gonna be a bit heavy on fuel but yeah guys very comfortable very driver orientated let's see if we can hear that motor I have to admit, when the gearbox is in comfort mode, it's not as responsive. It does take some time to respond, but uh, yeah. And uh, this is the same route as I took the other day. I can actually, let me see here. I'm going to go into sport display here. And let's see the way the car actually puts the power down. Into sport mode now. Going, going into Sport Plus. So Sport Plus automatically deactivates the the dynamics traction control, but you've still got some form of traction control active. All right, guys, I'm going to keep quiet now and just enjoy the drive. Wow guys, wow, it is so planted, I can't explain to you guys how planted this car is, it is so well balanced, there's just a, there's just this thing to BMW guys, I know I sound like a Beamer fanboy but yeah, there's just this unique characteristic to it, but let me give it a bit, let's see. Guys, I can honestly, honestly say that it is immensely fast, but the way it goes about putting that power down, guys, you don't notice how it picks up power. You don't notice how it goes about putting that power down. Yeah, I've got a brigade here now. I don't know this time of the day, but yeah. It is it is crazy fast guys I got to the speed limit there quite quick and you don't notice the speed in this car guys it's so planted 
it is so down to the road and I was in Sport Plus there and no problems at all cool guys let's get to that point of view of the of the cluster let me show you guys what the 435 I can actually do 435 I Grand Coupe in Sport Plus let's see guys like I told you it is immensely fast immensely but the way it goes about it is so efficient and that right there guys was the BMW 435i Grand Coupe F36 overall a stunning vehicle drives really well as I reiterated in the video the way it goes about putting the power down is astonishing if you guys enjoyed the video hit that thumbs up possibly consider to hit that subscribe button once again thank you to everyone's support and yeah guys thank you for watching another test drive thursday i'll see you in the next one cheers guys